Ooh, it's time for new! And the Splatoon 3 Fresh Season 2023, I guess we're calling that, is not holding back from throwing any punches. I I'm just using this video as an excuse to ramble about the stuff we've already seen. So I'll try to go in some detail, but mostly just be really excited. Thanks. They, they brought back Kraken. They really brought back Kraken. It's the biggest thing on the Splatoon 3 Fresh Season poster for a reason. They want you to look at it. The Kraken post had like 150,000 likes the last that I looked at it. There are so many weapons that had Kraken in Splatoon 1. And I could see it again, ranging from the Splushomatic to the Heavy Splatling to... Uh, to, to Eliter. <laughs> it also works in a way as a crab counter because while Knockpack obviously keeps it away, you have survivability options. Some of the new kits are really pretty. Like the L3 is this nice light blue. The Clash Blaster is just super red. Hi! The roller! The roller's just Splatoon 1 colors. It's orange and, and blue and it's it, ho -ho yay! In total, the new weapons are an L3, a Tri Slosher, a Rapid Blaster, a 96 Gal, the Crack On Roller, a Clash Blaster, a Splash, a Sploosh, the Charger and its associated scope, as well as the Jet. We We already know two of the kits, with the Crack On Roller getting Beacon and Kraken back, and the 96 Gal getting Splash Wall and Kraken back. Those are just Splatoon 1 kits. <laughs> Does that mean we might get Burst Bomb, Kraken, Jet Squelter? Does that mean we might get Burst Bomb, Kraken, Jet Squelter? So I don't have to play Angle Shooter, Jet Squelter anymore? I, I mean, I mean they, they could. They could do it. I feel like they're too scared to do that, and I don't think they should do it, but I mean, I, I, I won't complain if they, if they do it. Speaking of things coming back, oh my god, it's, it's Manta Maria! It's a wonderful stage that adds more variety to the game. It'll also be really yucky with Kraken being able to, you know, go around the back and drop on people. I know that they made Kraken slower, and I'm assuming it will still be loud and easy to hear. And I know it has knockback and can't go across those grates, but there are so many walls that you can climb in the middle of Manta and just you take your Kraken and you go up top and life is good. The world is your oyster for whatever backline is hiding back there. At least until they give Kraken to another backlining weapon. Then, you know, yeah. <laughs> in case people don't understand the power of Kraken in Splatoon 3, there are so many things it can do well. Are you in a fight with one of your opponents? Does one of your teammates have a Kraken? If your teammate pops that Kraken, now your opponent has to choose. Do they want to fight you? Do they want to fight the Kraken? Do they want to run? The Kraken takes away an escape option. The Kraken is the second thing they have to fire at. It's just genuinely a nuisance, and it's going to be great to see in action. Kraken also is fantastic at popping the Rainmaker because, you know, you can't die. You don't have to be scared of running up to the Rainmaker and try to pop it and fail. What's the Rainmaker explosion going to do? Push you back? Admittedly, it can be a problem if you're, like, you know, near the water. I'm like, you know, like, like, like um, you know, good old, good old Mai Mai Resort. But otherwise, th there's not too many maps in the game yet where you're dangerously close to a deadly boundary while playing Rainmaker. So the Kraken Rainmaker play for now is still really safe. As a slosher enjoyer, I'm also just super biased towards Manta Maria because it's fun and I like being able to slosh up at walls and slosh onto grates and slosh across that little gap on the side. It looks like they haven't touched Manta Maria very much and if it comes back the way that it was in Splatoon 2, I will be a very happy camper. It's also a map where I feel like Killer Whale 5.1 is pretty strong. I do agree that Crab Tank would also be strong on Manta Maria, but again, slosher moment, again, Kraken moment, again, Killer Whale moment. Like those hallways in Manta Maria, you don't want to be there when the killer whale goes off. It's not going to be fun, unless you're the person using the killer whale. <laughs> that pyramid stage finally got shown off again, and it's still a mystery. All we do every time they show it off is show like a picture of it. I'm assuming they'll wait a couple of days for showing it off on Twitter, and hopefully it'll be a map with side routes. That'd be, that'd be nice. Thanks. Also, the only gear that sticks out to me immediately is the squawks. There are squid crocs with squid gibbets. Oh my, oh my god, look at them. They're just little yellow 
little Crocs? Do you think they'll have more than one color? Do you think they'll be in the catalog? Can I like, I, I will I will rush the catalog to get those Crocs. I was a big Croc person as a kid. <laughs> we probably had a, a few of them in the house for like going to the beach and all that jazz. I want the Crocs. I want to wear the Crocs. I will make them my stealth jump shoes. I only have like two stealth jump shoes. Look at me stealth jump shoes number three, please. I'm curious what the little blue thing is in the promotional poster. We'll probably know in a few days, but I would love for it to be a sub or a special equivalent to like a hyper bomb from NC Princess Diaries in Splatoon 2. Something you can fire at to blow up at your own leisure, akin to a more stationary bubble blower. One of the biggest problems with bubble blower is, you know, you'd pop it, they'd float along a bit, and then someone could just insta pop the bubbles and ruin everything going on. But if the enemy team knows where the bubble blower-esque sub slash special is gonna land, it gives them a moment to react to it before the whole thing blows up, which I feel like is pretty fair. Something that's been hidden from us for a long time that's finally being shown on the poster too is the jukebox. The music enjoyers get to finally eat. The tiny jukebox hiding in the walls of the map is finally gonna exist for real in the game lobby. Assumably this should mean we can play different music in the lobby at our heart's content, which would be like so cool. It's also a way for us to learn the names of songs that we don't know in the game, such as the hourly lobby music that plays that we don't know the names for. It'll be faster than waiting for Splatoon 3, you know, the CD that's on its way already. Whee! I'm also really, really, really hoping those little art bits next to the jukebox are new banners. I will yell if I can have a funky, fresh, off-the-hook banner on occasion for my splash tag. Please add more banners to the shallow machine so I can gamble for even more cool stuff. Thanks! And don't think I don't see those new table turf cards down there. I will be rolling for those when I can. And hopefully we'll finally see online table turf this season to guarantee even more ways to play in Splatoon. The game is still developing and changing every season. And who knows where things will go when we get to the summer. It's good to have so much to look forward to. And I hope that you're enjoying your own personal Splatoon journey. We're eating so good and we don't even have confirmation of League or like room codes yet. Who knows what we're gonna get soon. While it is unfortunate there are so many shooter class weapons joining into the game and we know we need alternative kits for other weapons, at least it means that next time we really can't see many more. At this point almost every shooter class weapon is going to have an alternate kit and assuming that Nintendo would rather add a second kit to every weapon before adding thirds, we should start seeing more and more of sloshers, of Debrellas, Splatana, Stringer, etc. Hopefully with the next patch in the summer. It'll be a great way to add some good diversity as people come on to summer break, so we can look forward to that. Like the gold dynamo roller. Where is that one? We know it's real. Hey! If you enjoy hearing me gush about Splatoon, please make sure to subscribe to hear more from me in the future. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a good one. Thank you.